positions to find the back of the net from there and has Chester City for Jess Park and it's come in the game which matters most there was a late change to the city side Laya Alexandri was injured in the warm-up, so Alana Kennedy comes into the back four. It's a big day for goalkeeper Kiara Keating to step out at the Etihad, where she used to be a ball girl for her hometown team. Alex Greenwood faces one of her former clubs, and Khadija Shaw will be aiming to add to her tally of 16 goals in 15 women's suits. United, from their victory over Bristol City, sees the Brazilian Jesse replace Melvin Mallard, Nikita Paris won the title with City eight years ago, but hasn't scored against them in the Women's Super League in seven. Six games to go, so much to play for. And the Manchester derby is underway with United in the red, City in the blue, and United attacking the goal away to our left in the first half. And the player who has come in today, Jacek, quickly into the action. It's quickly cleared, but here is Turner stepping away from Shaw. Now Blundell. Garcia in pursuit on this near side. The challenge comes in from Kasparai. And inside the opening minute, Zellum will take the corner in towards the near post. Not clear conclusively. Shaw. Colliding with Turner. Burn the referee. And it was glanced on by Kasparai. Greenwood with Short scoring the clinching goal at Old Trafford back in November. Winning by three goals to one. And City have only lost once in 27 home games in the Women's Super League. And they've won all five since they were shocked by Brighton back in November. And Mark Skinner has said his team will need to show so much energy and run their... There has been fluctuations in the form during this rivalry since United stepped up to the highest level. Of course, they won. ...on last season, but their only victory in eight meetings and Lucia since United stepped up to the highest level. Of course, they won last season, but their only victory in eight meetings. And Lucia Garcia scored the winning goal after Ellie Roebuck, the city goalkeeper, had been sent off. Keaton came on on that day, and she's rarely looked back since. Coombs joining in, Hemp again. Chloe Kelly starting on the bench here today for City. Wahabi with an enterprising run forward for April, and that's the final chance for Silverware for United this season. They've already been beaten by City in the group stage of the WSL Cup. Kasparai cleaned out, but play continues. Paris, Garcia, and the flag's up for offside. City, though, were looking... ...eventually flagged offside, and that was certainly a Derby Day challenge. For ...player who has really hit for the cycle in the northwest of England, playing for both City and United in Manchester, and Everton and Liverpool on Merseyside. since they were beaten narrowly, 1-0 at Chelsea. Over a year ago now, when Sam Kerr scored a memorable winning goal. And on his birthday, this is Mark Skinner's 
100 one league titles in both the US and Australia. Hemp in pursuit. Rivier isolated for a second here, but then she's able to make the challenge. Well, Harvey was rather sold short by the pass back from Hemp, but she characteristically works hard to win it back. Kennedy. Kasparai. Hasegawa, short. And now Fowler, who was a perennial sub last season, but has seen more time from the start during the current campaign. And she's on the ball again here. Fowler's cross. And United will clear. Chase. A long way for Paris to go, but Kennedy gets there first. They were second last season, but for a variety of reasons, they've not been able to maintain that sort of form. Hasegawa. Kennedy. United are very happy for City to have the ball in this sort of area. here today United will still have a role in the title race because they played Chelsea on the final day of the season as they did a couple of years ago when they almost helped Arsenal to win the league and it's heavy Canadian international will take the throw in Fowler now Kasparai all a bit narrow for City on this near side so Fowler has to try and provide the width, but Rondell does well. That's support from Nelson. And United could break here with two. International duty with Brazil in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Of course, had a goal disallowed in the Manchester derby at Old Trafford, but she's on the ball here, using her pace, almost brushing aside Wahabi, and she's found Paris inside the penalty area. And that's an excellent save by Kiara Keating. Well, and that was all down to the industry and power of Jace brushing aside Wahabi, finding pa a very handy player for Mark Skinner to have around. Zello. Two. Two given space again here. Here is Jace once again looking to cause problems for a backtracking Wahabi. This time she's able to block the cross. Jace again wriggling away from Wahabi. The cross is deep, it comes to Garcia. Blundell is forward, so too is Toon. And now Jace again has the time to bring the ball down. And the ball loops high off Wahabi. Paris is underneath it, Jace again, and it's wide this time, and United go close again. And it's all down to the Brazilian Jace, causing real havoc down the right-hand side. That was the first shot, which spun up off. Wahab is just jabbed wide. Interesting first 15 minutes here. City with two thirds of the possession, but United with all of the shots. Park. What a revelation she's been this season. Greenwood. Hemp looking for movement. And it briefly from Coombs. Mark again. Yeah. 
Kennedy. And that really. Riviere. Everything coming down the United right at the moment. Yeah, Letizia almost had an awkward moment there. And now it's been given away by Blundell. Fowler. Park. Kasparai, but it hits Paris, it breaks kindly for Toon. Garcia in support, Jace to her right, Toon may continue here. Now it's Jace, she's shown the inside. But she's been much more effective going on the outside, and that's what she does, but the cross is cut out by Greenwood, and in the end it will be a goal kick. Kasparai. Pressure from Lucia Garcia. Kennedy. So then penalised this time for the nudge on Park. At the moment, it's 5 0 in United's favour. And they very effectively shut down the service to Khadija Shaw so far. Turner was the player involved there with Shaw. And neither was giving an inch. Oh. Fowler. And Brundell going to ground very quickly, and the free kick's been given. And the yellow card is out here. Sliding in, scored the winning goal for United last season. Blundell. And towards Paris, who wanted the ball. Played towards the wider area. Kennedy. Now Kasparai. Sure was the target, but Turner was always going to get there first. But now it's been given away by Garcia, and here is Shaw. And she goes down under the challenge of Blundell, who of course has just been booked. Well, there was contact area, and the free kick's not being given. United looking to play out and maybe playing their way into trouble. Greenwood, Fowler, spins into the path of Hemp. This time she's away from Riviere, but the cross is very deep and too deep. There's eight goals in the Women's Super League so far this season. Very able supporter of Khadija Short. on the outside, but it's quickly cut out by Hasegawa. Kasparov. All very tight for Fowler, too tight in the end. Khadija Shaw does have two goals and two assists against United in the Women's Super League. And United winning the ball high up the field again. It was Riviere this time. Paris quickly on to Jace. Jace, though, almost losing the ball to Hemp, but she is so strong on the ball. But in the end, Hasegawa coming back to win it and also earns the free kick. Almost losing the ball to Hemp, but she is so strong on the ball. So far. Quickly cut out by Coombs, and City were looking to quickly break there, but here is Wahabi again. And 
The shot from long range tests Mary Earps. It's the first thing she had to do. It was Jeff's Parkulak flight. And Earps was equal to it. And that really is the beauty of Manchester City. They can. Aaron Earps does well to get two hands to it and shovel the ball aside. And a big crowd here. Many of them, of course, Manchester City fans, just looking for their team to maybe offer a bit more going forward. But here is Paris, squat of Garcia, it's deflected, and the goalkeeper just about deals with it. Keating finger-tipping the ball onto the roof of the net of Nikita Paris, winning the ball back. Garcia was quickly closed down, but then it became a very awkward shot for Keating to deal with. Looping up off Kasparai, Keating backpedalling. The 19-year-old again. That's a good ball, Kasparai. Kennedy. City with the confidence to play through the press. Here is Kasparai again. Shaw and Fowler ahead of her. Nelson coming back. And it was her challenge on part. Turner. Burks. Oh, there could be problems here. It's part. And there's a lack of conviction with the finish. And both. Light. Now head. Fowler. Park. And then fired in from long range and just wide. Hasegawa. Does have that in her locker. And once again. United restricting City to efforts from that sort of range, but they've got the technicians to find the back of the net from there, and Hasegar almost did. Hasegar, short. Now Coombs. Hemp. Wahabi into Park! Brilliant! A first Women's Super League goal for Manchester City for Jess Park. And it's come in the game which matters most. Outstanding from the youngster. Nothing Mary Earps could do this time. And finally, United are picked. And Jess Park, who has been one of the breakthrough stars in the Women's Super League season. Maybe a question of offside there against Short in the build-up. But then Wahabi on the overlap, pulling it in towards Park, and that is fantastic technique to cushion the volley into the back of the net in the midst of the penalty area. That was Phil in a game which really matters. Manchester United have not taken their chances and now they fall behind. And here is Park again and it's the cutback again. This time the shot's deflected and Shaw makes it too. But the flag has been raised and it won't count. And it's a reprieve. Park involved again. And Shaw was clearly offside when the shot was fired in by... When the initial shot was fired in by Coombs. Now an opportunity at the other end for Paris! And it's tipped aside. By Chiara. And another opportunity for Manchester United. And it was Chase, in fact, who took the shot. 
And that was goal bound, but Zellum with the corner kick in towards Letizia, and the header will drift wide. Well, United continuing to create opportunity. Katita Shaw came back from an offside position to play her part in the move. Asagawa, Park, stepping away from the challenge of Narlon. Coombs, Asagawa, and the challenge from Zellum. Asagawa, Pen, in towards Shaw, looking to spin away from Letizia, who was strong in the challenge. Turner, all the way back to Earps. And it was helped on by Paris, and in the end, City have it back, and United can't afford to concede a second goal before half-time. Fowler, and it skims the roof. Fowler again, Park. Asagawa. And it's looped towards goal and it's turned in by Park again. Well, this is turning into her day. Scored for City in the WSL before this afternoon. And now she has two in seven minutes. Ghosting in to apply the finish back for United now. Parker was involved in the short corner routine, just track her the area. Again, maybe a hint of offside as it was guided down by Kennedy inside the box. But nobody had tracked the run of Park, volley the ball clear beyond the grasp of Earps. And before that goal, Mark Skinner was shouting to his team, keep the ball. And after a very disciplined opening 20 minutes or so, when they had the opportunity to score, City have gradually taken control. Manchester City are on top in the derby, thanks to two goals from Jess Park. The first a brilliant volley, although Khadija Shaw was offside in the build-up. The second... Great anticipation after a knockdown from Alana Kennedy. And she also denied Chase later on during the first half, but Mary Earps and United find themselves trailing and they're heading for their first ever double defeat against City in the Women's Super League at half-time in the Manchester derby. It is City 2, United 0. And this weekend... And we are back underway. Manchester City in the sky blue, leading by two goals to nil. And as far as the contest is concerned, and certainly as far as Manchester United are concerned, they need to score the next goal. But here is Park finding Shaw. It's Katinka Shaw, and it's 3 0. And within 34 seconds of the second half, that surely settles it. Khadija Shaw with her customary goal in the Women's Super League. 17 in 16 games and counting. The to the path of Shaw. And apply the finish. As she has been all season. Mary Earps exposed once again. <laughs> On 
what on earth does Mark Skinner do here? It's turning into a fairly miserable birthday for him. 3-0 down, and he would have had words at half-time, but whatever the game plan was, it's just been left in shreds by Jess Park and Khadija Shaw. But City know they need to keep winning, they need to keep scoring. And they'll be looking to really pile on the agony here. Letizia. Paris strongly challenged by Greenwood. Kasparov. But it's Garcia who comes away with the ball this time. Zellum. I'm not sure that Turner appreciated the pass in that sort of area. Fowler wins it back, and United conspire to... Park. Now Fowler. It's left for Park again by Kasparai. On the back heel from Kasparai, Park again. Chase. Stepping away from him, Mannion. Now Garcia in pursuit, but it's claimed by Keating. A reminder, and at the top of the table, Manchester City will be three points clear of Chelsea before their game at West Ham on Sunday. And their goal difference is now better, thanks to Jess Park and Khadija Short. And here is Fowler. Coombs. Kasparai. And it's glanced away. Mannion playing in the fullback area, which is not her natural position. And Hemp could be in behind her. And the cross is deep for Short. But she's just unable to keep the header down. Coombs. Asagara again. City here. Playing exhibition stuff at times, although. And drives it into the body of Nelson. But the energy without the ball is something to... But it's high towards Garcia. Williams. Chase. Comes of Herbs. Salem will take it. Interesting short corner routine. Blundell with the delivery, Keating has come and didn't get there initially, but City are out to Aston Villa to finish things off. Chase, away from Wahabi again, three around her, but she continues, now she needs support. Nelson, Mannion, Kennedy on the end of it. Then Fowler. But they work the overlap and they cross deflected in. And Hannah Blundell will claim that, although it may go down as an own goal. A player, five WSL titles with Chelsea, may be doing her bit for a former club. They work the overlap. And it took a big deflection off Kasparai. That may go down as an own goal in the end by the Dutch international. I think it will. It was a good delivery in from Blundell. Now sure at the other end, but she snatched at it and dragged it wide. An even harder effort. But if United can score fairly soon, 
It could that very interesting. Blundell. Toon. Zellum. Nelson. Chase. Williams makes the run into the penalty area, but it's deflected behind off Wahabi. You now from the United fans. The own goal from Kirsten Kasparai has given them a glimmer of hope. Two. Zellum. Two again. Blundell with another cross in. Cleared as far as Jace. What can she produce here? Well, she goes for goal and it's deflected behind by Wahabi. It's another corner kick. Zellum will take the corner kick. Keating doesn't come for it. Cleared away initially. Now Blundell again in the wide area. There are two players down inside the box. Toon on the volley. It comes to Jace and it's over the top. And Toon will chase, but Hasegawa will get there first. And she manages to dig out the clearance only as far as Garcia. Zellum. Nalsson, it's all very tight on the edge of the penalty area. Garcia again, Zellum again. Blundell made the dash down the left, but Zellum looks to Williams on the right, and she won the header, but Blundell wasn't there. Well, he knew there was a potential opening there. Crowd of just over 40,000 here today. Philippa Angeldahl will come on as City just look to see this out. And there's been so much more urgency since the own goal from Kasparai, but now Zellum has given the ball away to Kennedy. Park. Zellum tried to hold her back. Park believes she was fouled, but... United have the opportunity to break. Garcia steps in field beyond Kasparai. She's got Toon on the outside. Here is Ella Toon now. Williams in the centre, but Toon goes for it, and it's over the top. Now an opportunity for Garcia. Zellum. Mallard is waiting. Jace. Managed to keep the ball in play, and she's one team even though they are heading for a disappointing finish this season after being second during the previous campaign. Keating. Straight to Garcia. The early cross in for Mallard. Kennedy will rise and it will be a corner kick. 11th successive victory in the Women's Super League. Title runs are all about peaking at the right time. And they will need to maintain that form to really have any hope of overhauling Chelsea, you feel. Maybe a case of who blinks first, and maybe neither will, and then it will come down to goals. Fowler. Kennedy. Hasegawa. Morgan. Park. And she's still going right at the end. Jess Park. Shore in support. And she looks for support, Fowler will try and get there, but Letizia gets there first, no she doesn't, it's Fowler, Shaw waiting, and she misses her kick. Hemp, that's it. It's a first ever derby double.
for Manchester City. And there's no doubt that as far as the Women's Super League is concerned, Manchester is sky blue. Jess Park with two goals. She also made the third for Khadija Shaw in the opening seconds of the second half. A late own goal from Kirsten Kasparai gave United some hope, but City were able to shut the door. And they move three points clear of Chelsea at the top of the table. Three points, three goals, and three points clear. Manchester City three, Manchester United one.